these are so cute. I got different colors, like a jumpsuit, mustard, white, and then I have like a teal color. These are so cute. Perfect for the summertime and the heat. Hey guys, so I am at the house and I decided to just come out on the balcony. I hope you guys have just been having a wonderful week. And I wanted to, um, so I wanted to show you guys some things that I got from Shein. I know some people have like a love hate relationship with them. I actually like them. The pieces that I got from them are, you know, they somewhat, the material is fine, it fit fine. So I'm just gonna show you some of the things that I got, but I am also going to do a try on haul for my next video. So you guys can kind of judge for yourself and see if you like the material and things like that. Me personally, I love them. I never really had an issue with them. Um, I know some people, they don't like them and I know some people who actually love them. So I actually gave them a try and I was like, okay, I like these pieces. So I'm gonna show you guys just a few things, but I am gonna do a try on haul as well. Um, since I am pregnant, I did get some pieces just a little bit bigger, but I also wanted to get things that I can wear after my pregnancy. So like flowy shirts, flowy dresses, things that I know that I can wear after the baby gets here in the fall. So I'm like, okay, cool. I, this works because after the baby gets here, even when I drop a few pounds, I'm still going to be able to be able to wear this. Hopefully have a video up by Wednesday. This is another one of my favorite things. It's like a flowy dress that I got. And you really can't really tell what it looks like, but when I try it on, you'll be able to tell exactly what it looks like. So yeah, so that's it. And again, tomorrow, uh, not tomorrow, but this week, hopefully by Sunday, I would have this video haul up for you guys so you can um, see what everything looks like. Come back to my youtube channel so this week i decided to do a little bit of vlogging so i hope you guys enjoy this video um and i wanted to say guys thank you guys so much for purchasing my book understood prayers and reminders that god cares about you i am super excited for this book to get in everyone's hand this book is so amazing but um these are prayers and reminders that god cares about you the book is so awesome y'all if y'all follow the glory woman page on instagram which i run that page you can see some of the prayers that i post and you can see some of the reminders that i post and then i also have clips of the inside of the book which i actually love so and also one thing that i love about this book that each prayer in this book comes with a focus scripture so you're just not reading the prayers and then just going on but you're actually reading the focus scripture under it and going back to the Bible and reading what God says about you. And each reminder on each page is amazing. So I'm super excited for everyone to get it. If you haven't pre-ordered, the pre-orders are still available and pre-orders will be going out in a couple of weeks. So thanks guys so much for supporting me. I really appreciate your support. It means a lot to me, a lot, a lot, a lot. So thank you guys for supporting. And then also it's like not only um, that, but for me it's more so, I'm so excited to see women invest in their spiritual health and ready to grow and ready to truly get that relationship with God and really to truly grow in their relationship with God and just having tools. I know me, I love books, especially books is going to draw me closer to God and draw me closer to my purpose. So that is the purpose of this book. This book is awesome. The book is only $20. So $20 investment for a lifetime spiritual thing. <laughs> so that's what I would say. I would say, hey, $20 you can spend it really quickly you can spend $20 at um, Starbucks in a week so if you haven't got a copy please pre-order a copy the link will be below 
but also guys i got some packaging in i was trying to see what packaging that i want um this company i'm gonna put the name on the screen but they have awesome packaging this company they have awesome packaging so if you run a business please be sure to check them out i'm going to show you guys So I'm super excited because here is the packaging that I am using to ship out each book. So I have a couple of boxes of these. I love the gold and I feel like it went perfect with the book because the book has a little bit of gold in it. And I just love it so much. The book fits perfect on the inside. And of course, it's gonna have other things in it as well. But I just really, really love this. And I was like, oh, this is so perfect. So. Yeah, so um, the packaging is beautiful. They have other colors. They have like gold, they have black. And I love the fact that they were inexpensive. So they were not expensive at all. So if you're looking for a packaging company, I highly suggest you take, check them out. They are really, really good. And another thing that I wanted to show you guys was um, water. So during my pregnancy, my doctor always says, hey, drink more water. And this cup has been amazing y'all it has been helping me drink so much water and i'm just like oh my gosh like i cannot believe that this has been helping me so much so i fill this up and by the end of the day i drink more than one cup but this has just really been helping me get my water down really drinking out the bottle it can be weird but drinking out this cup has been so much, has been so helpful to me so take a quick break um i will link this cup below if you guys want it it's so good i promise you guys if you have trouble drinking water this cup will help you because i love water don't get me wrong but sometimes i find myself like at the end of the day like oh i didn't drink as much as i should have and this really helps and the fact that i love water and put it in here it just makes it so much easier for me so yeah that is today and um so I'm going to count everything. I'm going to count the packaging. I'm getting ready to count the orders. I'm getting ready to make sure I have enough package. I'm getting ready to make sure I have enough thank you cards for all my books, for all the pre-orders. Um, making sure that I double check orders for people who have may have got more than one book. Make sure I'm counting that they have four or five or however many they have. Um, so I'm just going back and double checking those things today. And just getting that ready for orders for get pre order shipped out on the site. It says pre orders will get to you by August, September, but however, August is really when the pre orders will get to you. So I'm going through that, looking through that, um, making sure everything's correct so that I can get these wonderful books out to you, ladies. And just thanks so much for being here on my youtube channel i really appreciate it if you haven't subscribed and you're watching this please go ahead and subscribe it it's my pranks to go along if you see my nose spread or anything just don't say anything about it <laughs> just keep it to yourself <laughs> but anyway um when people get their book i'm thinking about doing a class with the people who got the book like i don't know what type of class i would do i don't know if i would do one about bible study time or um i don't know i just want to do some type of class a free class of people i don't know what yet somebody suggested it they was like hey when you get the when we get the books can you do like a class or something like that that goes along with the book and i was like hmm, that's a really good idea i was thinking about that so that is something that i have been thinking about it has been on my mind so i am thinking about that for sure but other than that i hope you guys are doing well hi guys happy friday it is july second and i am well we just got done filming a video we filmed a old wife tales video so that video should be up before i upload this one of course um so i just want to do a vlog this weekend this week just to have something to upload next week and so i wanted to do that and um yeah oh i got some stuff for michael's birthday so if you guys don't know i am pregnant and baby number two is due in the fall so i'm planning for a birthday my son is 32 and then also a baby shower but i'm gonna do a drive through baby shower so it can be simple and i'm not like so stressed out about party and baby shower so i got some stuff for michael party i'm going to do a construction thing so i got these cups 
from, what's, I forgot the name of the place. I got this hat for small kids. They can fit anybody here. So I got these hats for um, kids, which are super really cute. They're like little plastic hats for kids and put them on. Yeah, they put them on. So I'm gonna take one out. It's like, obviously it's too big. I mean, it's too small for my head. I got some kids. I got that. Um, I got some nice straws. I want to keep it very modern, so it's not gonna be like all over the place. So the only clothes that I'm using are black, white, and yellow. And that's it. And so I got black and white popcorn cups. I got um, some tattoos because I want to have like a little tattoo 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 station. So I got that. Um, I got some black cups, and I got these little cute. Uh, what do you call these, y'all? I don't know what they call them. You can like stick them in the cupcakes or whatever. And then they like a little pick. Just a little, add a little bit more decoration to it. And that's really it. Oh, I got these cute caution cups. I thought these are really, really cute. So I was like, cute caution, Ariana Construction. Then I got these little bigger man that I'm going to put. So I'm going to have like a area where it's like a sin. I'm gonna get one of those cheap pools from Target at like $9.99, spray paint it black and make like a sand area. So I'm gonna put these on top of the sand. So we got a bouncer, sand area. One bouncer plays one at $4.50 for only three hours. And I'm like, I'm not paying $4.50 for only, no, it was like two hours. I wasn't doing that. So, you know, on to the next. But I ended up finding a place that has that had a bouncer for only 150 so i ended up paying a deposit for that one and i'm going to do that so moms how do you do parties so um uh, since court team i could really couldn't have a big party last year but i still did something for him i still treated it like a party like i had balloon decor and everything but since court team had first hit i didn't do anything big but this time uh, i'm gonna do something for him have him a party this time how do you do parties mom so let me know like at their certain age when do you like stop doing parties and just allow them to um just have a couple of friends over or go to um, gym world or whatever you call these places how do you do parties or do you always throw big parties every year i would love to know <laughs> i know some people that say after a certain age they just do like little sleepovers or they just have a few friends over food cake and fun stuff like that um i know everybody's different <laughs> so i would love to hear what you guys do i'm gonna actually make me a smoothie so you guys can come with me so if you are in need of a really good smoothie try this one so i'm going to be using mangoes We're going to be using peaches as well. And I'm going to be putting a handful of spinach in here. And I'm going to just put a handful. I'm putting a lot in here. So this is what it looks like. Let me take it out of the blender right now. I'm going to use some chia seeds as well. In there. And I'm going to blend it all together. And I'll be right back. Use coconut water as my base. Because again, it's still going to be packed with flavor. It's still going to taste amazing even with the coconut water. I know it may seem like, what is it going to taste like? I promise you guys, it's going to taste so good. So. Okay, guys. You can't blend anything without the blender. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it's funny. That's funny. <laughs> so, you want to put the blender in it. Now I have to sit here and try to... I think I had to take everything out because it's just too much in here. My son is saying cup, cup, because he knows it's a smoothie time. So he gave me his cup. Say cup. He said cup, 
cup. He's like, you gonna make me? Uh, my son, he, he, um, when it comes to these smoothies, when he hears the blender, he comes running. He does not play any games, so I'm gonna put everything back. I transferred everything over into this because it is just such a mess. And um, adding it back, everything, adding everything back to the blender and now. It's packed with flavor. It's packed with greatness, and it's so good and it's so refreshing. It just smells so good, too. So try this and let me know how you like it. Good morning everybody so i'm getting ready to braid down my son's hair he really doesn't care for it so i put everything on the floor covers and everything to make him feel comfortable and he's sitting in this little chair to help me prop him up and uh, so also he can say stay still so to get some moisturizer back and put this restore and repair jamaican black oil water so it's mostly water and then jamaican black castor oil and then i spray this leave-in conditioner on his hair so that does give it some moisture to it and so now i'm about to get ready to break it hey y'all um it's july 3rd so i want to share y'all how amazing god is and how the holy spirit just always leads us so lately i had just been feeling like this heavy burden on me um about different things and i just had to release it this morning my husband's at his basketball camp and then micah is asleep so and i normally open up my bible first but i opened up my devotional first on uh, today july 3rd and it said it's the holy spirit tugging at your heart today and i just was like oh my god the Holy Spirit would never leave me alone. Like God would never leave me wrong. And it's just crazy. So we have to be mindful of when we are feeling the Holy Spirit leading us. And I just got done saying, I feel like the Holy Spirit is tugging in my heart about truly dropping this burden. And then I opened my devotional for July 3rd. And it is in here. So you see me underlining and doing all this. I did that today. But I just want to show you guys this. And I wanted to remind you to truly let things go. The things you can't control, let it go. You know, do what God wants you to do and the rest will fall into place. I have realized obedience is so much better. When I'm obedient to God, things just fall into place. When I try to do things myself or in my own way, this is when things fall apart. So I was just reminded today, truly let God lead me because he never leads me wrong. Like I literally said this morning, I feel like the Holy Spirit is tugging in my heart today. And then I opened my devotional for July 3rd and that's the topic. God is just that good and He's so good to us, y'all, and I just want to share that today. Mm -hmm. 